are joining us for the first time and you just join in, my name is Edmund Tan here. I'm one of the co-founder for Singapore Resale Insider. In this Think Property series, that's where we want to talk to you and share with you about this exciting project, the development, the reserve residences. So the big question is this, how busy professionals and homeowners like us make six-figure profits from the property we own safely by doing it with research, data, and numbers. How do we buy in a way without complications and half-guessing, regardless of the market conditions, and still remain profitable? That is the question. Here, I will share with you exactly what we do and how we do it. My name is Edmund Tan, and welcome to Singapore Real Estate Insider. So today we are very excited because uh, I'm going to share with you something that is the hottest topic of the town, okay? And I'm going to share with you some insights, some uh, information that we just got it out uh, regarding this project and also how you as a homeowner can take some of this information to make your own decision better. So the question is, are you aware that for the reserve residences, only 75% of the units are to be launched only? Okay, what? You know, are they really so confident that they only need to release 75% of those units out to sell for this new launch project? So which project am I talking about? Of course, this is where you can get every single thing, which is the Integrated Project Plus Transport Hub, the Reserve Residences. So you want to stay on in today's session. Why? Because I'm going to give you three things. Three things and I'm going to share with you at the, uh, towards the end of the session, right? What I like about Reserve Residences. Okay, three things. And I also will share with you three things that I personally don't like about reserve residences using our proven five points analysis in the REI method. So the question is, is the integrated property usually overpriced? You know, and what is happening in the beauty world transformation area that everybody is flocking there? You know, what must I look out for in this project that have almost everything? And of course, which layout to go for because I can share with you, there's plenty and there's too many layouts in this reserve residences. So I've done all the hard work, all the guessing work you don't need to do because I'm going to share with you a quick way to do a comparison later on. So for those of you who are joining us for the first time and you just joined in, my name is Edmund Tan here. I'm one of the co-founder for Singapore Real Estate Insider. In this Think Property series, that's where we want to talk to you and share with you about this exciting project, the development, the reserve residences. So you want to stay throughout the entire video because I will be providing you my views, my insights with data and numbers to back it up. And of course, if you have yet to subscribe to this channel, smash the subscribe button and help me to grow this channel out so you can constantly be updated when there are new projects in the pipeline because I can ensure you there are many more coming out in 2023. So I just want to give you guys a quick uh, summary. All right, so we're going to cover quite a fair bit of things today. You know, so one of the key things that you must understand that for this land parcel at the reserve residences, it was actually tendered uh, quite a while back, back in 2021 by uh, Far East organization as well as Sino Group. So you, you may definitely have heard about these two big names and they are not uh, first timer in new launches, right? So they have been established in the market for quite a fair bit. And one of the key things is that we are always looking at the data and the numbers. So one of the key uh, factor for this information is that you must understand that this is an integrated transport hub residential project. So what they did was government actually put out this tender and it's not about who bids the highest price will get this property. You know, the, the developers will have to submit plans on how are they going to integrate this entire in, uh, transport hub as well as the residential condo together. So this is a very unique way of, you know, making sure that the design, the connectivity, everything fits into a bigger plan of how Singapore wants for beauty world transformation. So from here, you can see that the average per square foot should be about 2003 to 2005 as per reported. And we are going to talk about maybe at least about 845 units. So, for this project, of course, this is not just uh, normal condominiums. Okay, so that's what you know, the main difference for the reserve residences is that this is not just a, you know, a project with number of units, facilities, that's all. But reserve residences has also a bus interchange in it. It's also a 
commercial development and you hear me right, you're out. So reserve residences is going to be an integrated transport hub with a fully air-conditioned bus interchange. All right, so it's not only going to have that, it's going to have a very decent uh, size shopping mall and it has also a direct link to the Beauty World MRT station. And all in all, the development is going to be coming with 732 residential units. So that's the first thing that you must know, 732 residential units. There's going to be a very unique point, which is 160 service apartments. All right, so that is the one of the most interesting part where a residential, a shopping mall integration, and there's a service apartment as well. So I am definitely know that Shino Group and FIES have some foresight to determine why would they want to build these service apartments there? And we will uncover some of all this information shortly. Of course, for today, whatever that I share with you, do take your own initiative uh, to make sure that the information are accurate. You know, so this is a disclaimer. You know, any data, any numbers that we provided, please do your due diligence checks as an investor or as well as a homeowner to make sure that everything is done properly. So this is the information that we have gotten and this is the latest information. So reserve residences is covered by Chino Group as well as FICE organization. So you can see there's a lot of information here, but this being a leasehold property, just take note that the leasehold starts actually since 2021. That's when they purchased the land. So this is something that we have to take note of. And the number of stories, they have quite a fair bit in terms of the different, <coughs> sorry about it, uh, different designs, uh, different layouts. That's why you can see that they have the low rise towers from six to 11 floors the mid-rise from 14 to 4 to 16 floor, as well as the high-rise 4 to 32 floors. A total number of units of 732 units, and they consist of one bedroom all the way to five bedrooms, as well as penthouses. So interestingly, we are still seeing a lot um, in terms of the configurations. They are having a lot of one and two bedrooms. So very importantly is we also must understand how many car parks, because this is not just a residential site. There's also commercial space involved. There's also the service apartment involved. So the total number of lots we have is 860, uh, 586 lots, as well as 126 on level one. You see, so there are also the bicycle lots. So as estimated TOP, we're talking about 2028 to 2031. This is all just expectations of uh, when the completion is it. Uh, likely it will always be earlier. But uh, one thing to take note, because this is such a mega project, Definitely, the building phase is definitely going to take uh, a little bit longer than usual. So let me just give you a glimpse about how it looks like. And this is definitely a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity in Bukit Timah. So for reserve residences, you can see that there are basically three active tower frontages along the Bukit Timah Road and Jalan Jurong Kechil along there. And the entire development is massive. You're right smack in the center of Beauty World, right smack in the center of the where the activities are. So let me just quickly run through who are the developers. Of course, none other than FIES organization. They have been very, very popular in terms of building very unique uh, standalone uh, properties. Well, Waha is definitely a award-winning architecture and interior, uh, industrial design where they put in a lot, not just about buildings, but they put in a lot of greeneries. So this is definitely a very wow factor if it, when it comes to a form of design and been uh, in a very iconic structures in the center of Beauty World. With this kind of design with, by Warha, it definitely will give you the attraction from different buyers. Even with our overseas friends, they will definitely see this as a very iconic property. All right, so you can see that the entire design is, is perfectly, very, very well uh, maintained you know, in time to come. And what we see is that with this development, if you are a resident there, you will be spoiled for choice because you have the interchange, you have the retail malls, you are staying in that condo. Let's take a look at the entire floor plan, okay, the site plan itself. All right, so reserve residences is actually right smack in the center of Beauty World, you know, connected by all the different roads, Upper Bukit Dima Road, Jalan Anak Bukit, as well as the PIE site, which is at the bottom side. You know, however, uh, based on the entire layout of this floor, lot of land, uh, there are two issues that I think buyers will have when it comes to this property. So first of all, there are quite a few 
uh, there are quite a few stacks that are directly facing to the west. These are the west uh, kind of facing. So this could be a uh, setback, okay, in terms of uh, what kind of properties that you want to choose. And the reason why developers are trying to position them is so that you get to maximize your views. Does it make sense? So if you don't want the view, then you choose the one inside. Lah. But if you really want to get kind of get the unblocked high floor, maximize the views, and um, you will want to choose those that is facing the west. And it will be very beautiful because from a, a high level point of view, you are getting unblocked all the lower landed properties in that area and I would say the views is definitely going to be unbelievable. So of course, besides the west side, another concern that maybe some of us would have is of course the road noises. But of course, what we understand is uh, the developers are definitely going to put in buffer, you know, for the different uh, projects, uh, different layout types. And there's also a particular reason why they place the service apartments uh, here, okay? There's also a reason. is to kind of shoot off the traffic noise, lah, okay? So, so, as much as a developer uh, wants to provide the best, there are certain things due to nature. They will also know that as a consumer, as a buyer ourselves, we are also very particular about no road noises as well as west sun. So if let's say today you are really going for uh, you know quietness, you want um, a little bit more quiet uh, area, then you may want to choose the inward facing, the pool. All right? And a good part is that the blocks between one to each other is at least 45 meters away. So that gives you a good distance between your blocks and the other block and all your facilities is rounded up in the center and if you can see on the far left side where I circle. So this is actually a link bridge over to the community hub. Right. So besides this, uh, there's also the quick site collection. So the quick site collection is mainly nearer to the PIE uh, facing. Okay. And the reason is they also want to use quick site collection to kind of cover up a lot of the noises uh, portion. And so if you look at the two bedroom and these are all the two bed and one bath. So let's just take a look at the first one. So typically everyone who buys a two bedroom, we will love for the, we call it a dumbbell layout. What does dumbbell layout means? Meaning you have one bedroom on one end and then... 